so these are the badges right so these are the group I AGU group maestro badges so AGU stands for active group users now hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about uh becoming a group maestro I'm not sure if I'm saying that right maestro maestro a group maestro and we're going to talk about how you can become a group maestro what are the badges how to share them on Facebook how to get those badges to you so you can proudly show them on your Facebook profile or other social media platforms and we'll get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so you might be thinking what is a group maestro you know there's badges for all kinds of different things and group maestro is a pretty cool thing if I do say so myself to have a badge for and I've been showing it on my Facebook you can go and check it check it out there if you want and you can see the different badges I've gotten and we're going to talk about all these different badges and what the different badges mean how to find them how to win them how to set up the software and everything else that you need to actually get to be a group master we're going to explain as well what is a group master but before I do that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis493.jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen I'll be showing you exactly what these badges are how to create an account how to win a badge how to share that badge how to see a profile version of it all that good stuff we're going to be sharing all that right now so let me just go ahead and share my screen and show you what I'm talking about so first this is what we're going to do we're going to talk about we're going to talk about how to become a group maestro and share your badge right we're going to talk about what does it mean to be a group maestro we're going to talk about how to get and set up active group user software because you need that for that you're going to talk about how to win your first badge we're going to talk about how do you how do you win your next badge and you know next badges after that how that how does that all work where are all the badges we're going to show you where those are we're going to show you how to share your badge because you know there's not much point in winning a badge if you can't you know tell people oh look at that I won this badge right you got to be able to tell them and share how to download your badge we're going to talk about how to update your profile picture and redo your badge and we're going to talk about how to set up your profile picture on Facebook to use the badge so let's get kind of to it so these are the badges right so these are the group I AGU group maestro badges so AGU stands for active group users now if you're a group maestro that means you can well that means you want at least one of these badges right so once you want a badge you can share it and you know obviously if you wanted to you could download these and, and share them anyways but the platform uh, obviously if anybody ever looks they would see whether you actually won the badge or not I'm going to kind of show you that a little bit too but before we do that I want to talk about well show you a little bit about these badges first you go to activegroupusers.com let me put that link right here so you go to activegroupusers.com right so that's basically where you go to that website and then you're going to see over here well, let's move that down here so you're going to see over here under more there's a badges so this will take you to this page right here if you want to see exactly what all the badges are just go to the badges and then any of these badges if you want to see what they what they're about you can click on them it'll open up exactly what the badges is about and if you even want to like you can close this again let's say I want to look at this one I can just right click on this and say open image in new tab you'll see the full the full screen or the full size version of it right you can see the the details of it whatever I mean obviously just to be kind of cute or whatever right and then down here it'll tell you what you need to do to win that badge now the thing about this these badges is that they're basically all about just following the rules so let me get the link uh move the link above here again because we're I'm missing on the text I'm showing right here so you can see that it says right here click on any badge for details on how to win it 
and you can win any of these badges just by doing what you're supposed to do and that's the cool thing about it these badges are you know they're just a fun way to kind of get to know how to use the software right so say this one here is your first scrape so to win this badge you just have to do the first scrape which is basically the first thing you got to do to use the software anyways if you don't do a scrape you're not going to be able to use uh, any of the benefits of the software right so there's no point if you want to uh, win badge number two you just have to do a um you just have to do the visit of the first profile which is kind of the second thing you have to do anyways on the software now the thing about the badges is you can't win more than one a day so the even if you can do these two three four five things the first day you're not gonna win the badges until the fourth day like you know you can't possibly win badge four until at least four days after using the software same thing with five is five days whatever right obviously visiting a hundred profile visits in five days is a lot it's possible uh and that's kind of how it's, it works right level six is after 10 days use so that means that you couldn't possibly win level six until you at least use the software for 10 days etc right so it's kind of like how it works so basically each of the levels you win as you take action on on each of the different things you're supposed to be doing anyways with the software right all right so and this is kind of going to help you because if you're starting out which we're going to talk about the first setting up of the software and everything else because it is a you can you you, you can get a 14 day free trial with the software or you can you can buy you can you upgrade to the plan that gives you more groups and things like that we can talk about those things but I just want to get the basics out so you understand how to actually share your badges because you might be already using the software and you'd be like oh I want a badge how do I you know how do I share it right so we're going to cover that but let's first go back to what what is a group maestro right so what is what does it mean to be a group maestro right so it's kind of like the manifesto of what it is if you're a group maestro this kind of means you do these things or you know these things right and I got a kind of a definition right here I should probably go it up so what does it mean to be a group maestro right it means that you are someone who knows how to set up your Facebook profile for profit now if you don't know that I can show you how and actually when you get the software you're going to get some emails that will kind of cover these things um, also if you are someone who understands your avatar now again if you're not clear on who your avatar is and what that means I can help you with that that's all part of the whole getting set up and and getting on the list is you're going to actually get information on these things just because that's important for you to understand these things otherwise you're not going to get the full benefit of active group users you're not going to be a real group maestro if you don't understand all these things and I'm not saying and then they're not they're not hard to understand so it's pretty simple to be a group maestro but it's uh, you know kind of like it's a badge right it's you are a person who understands these things who does these things so you know the difference between an offer and a product again you know selling something is not an offer that's not what an offer is so if you don't if that's something you need to clarify or understand better I can help you with that too I have we do talk about these things in the trainings you can find your ideal prospect in the right groups that's exactly what we do with active group user software because we choose the groups that we know that our avatars are in and then we find them in those groups right so you're a person who knows how to convert your ideal prospect into hot prospects and hint hint it's using the software following those steps that's what that is and you use active group user software to focus your time instead of wasting your time on the news feed you use the software to focus your time on the right activities the right uh, uh, profiles you understand that notifications are misunderstood and what I mean by that is because notifications are just a form of exposure to you so if if you're just posting on Facebook uh, you're not necessarily taking advantage of notifications because not all the time that you post will people see your stuff right anyways there's a whole I have a whole training on explaining how what all that works and you can join it anytime uh, you can have conversations with mo almost everyone you reach out to as a group master you're able to do that because you're going to pick who you're going to have conversations with based on the activities that you're doing in the software and the uh, tracking the software does for you right and you can find perfect prospects who know like and trust you and that's because they know who you are because they've been seeing you in their notifications that's the whole that's what a group maestro is what you are 
if you are a group master that's because you've understood these things and if if you're not there yet that's fine you can learn these things as you go as you use how far you're on marketing and start to learn these things anyways all right so now let's go back to active group users. okay how does this work right so let's oh actually I had that right here so number two I had to say how to set up active group user software right so basically active group user software is a chrome extension and also a website so this is the website right here right activegroupusers.com so what you do is you go to that link and it'll take you to this page by default the about page which is where you first set up you can set up a free trial here or you can just register uh, right here to register your free account number two is you click you uh, add your chrome extension so let's register a free account here uh and I'm going to just use email you can click on continue as whatever your Facebook account is but I'm um, just right now I'm, I can't do that because that's my own account I don't want to show you my own account right now I'll show you the process of creation but you should click on this because it'll automatically set up your account with your profile picture and things like that but for the test I'm just going to put an email here I'm going to say test uh oops and then let's go like this and I'm going to just put a password in there okay so once you do that you click on the register and that'll register an account I'm going to save the password so I don't have to remember but it sends you an email where you have to activate the account so let, I'm just going to click on okay here so nothing happens yet as you can see it still says login register up there so we're going to go to my email and we're going to look at that email and show you what that looks like all right so you're going to get an email that looks like this uh basically it's going to say welcome that the, the subject is going to be account activation on active group users so if you can't see it in your inbox and you have to go to the spam or all mail or whatever you can search for it obviously just search for account activation on active group users and then you're going to see well I have two there because I was doing a test but you're going to see it's going to say welcome you or someone else request an account blah 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 you just click this link to activate this account so that's all we're going to do we click on this link whoops did that work click on the link and then it opens up a new a new tab and we close the emails here and it's going to say successfully activated your account right so now I can just click on this now I highly recommend that you go through these all these steps that are here before you know going on to the next that I'm going to be talking about these are all very good to follow to follow through setting up your profile and picture going to the about page uh check out your uh public profiles look at the leaderboard check out the plans become an affiliate right so you might want to become an affiliate if you want to refer anybody who uh, actually uh, upgrades their account to a paid account they uh, you will get a percentage of that commission right every single month that they pay for it right so that's definitely if you're in, interested in, in getting a little bit of extra income go ahead and become an affiliate that's just a uh, just smart move right all right so now let's just talk about the next step so number two is download the extension and install it right we have a Facebook group obviously you're going to want to join that Facebook group um and this is I'm, I'm if I click it you're going to see it loads up the group itself which is the active group users group that is a Facebook community where we post uh, whenever people win their their badges right so we got a couple of people won badges recently just because actually badges kind of got created just recently right so we didn't it's not because all of a sudden these people are winning badges just because badges just got set up this week right so that's why there's only a few of them here but uh, whenever you go to the group and you uh, ask to join the group which right now I'm logged in so it shows me the mem the, the admin uh, view right um but you should join this group definitely to be part of the active group users community all right so next you want to download the extension and install it it's really that simple you just click on this link right here and then you just you'll see active group users right here and you just click on the add to chrome right there so when you do that it'll tell you that it can read and change all your data on all websites now the reason we need that is because we do screenshots and unfortunately the extension um, api doesn't let you do screenshots unless you have access to all data and all websites so you basically just click on add extension right here so this will add the extension to your chrome browser it'll pop up this little thing right here saying manage your extensions by clicking the extension in the, in the tools menu right so in this case 
if I just click here this will go away right so this is the extension icon right here you just click that and you'll see that active group users is there now so now if we click on the little pin right there that'll make this extension always be in my toolbar right up here which you really you really want that so let's just let's just do that now so the first thing you gotta do is you gotta link the extension to the website right so we have the website right here this is the website activegroupusers.com right but the extension is something that's in your browser it's not on a website on the internet this is a website that contains the the data that and and your account your profile profile all those things but the extension is a software that's on your browser so we click on the extension right here it'll show you that you need to set up a free account now we already have an account set up so whenever you click this it'll just say oh you already have an account and it'll just <coughs> be happy about that and they'll say okay great you're logged in as whatever your login is and then it'll say uh, click the extension now you'll notice the little uh, puzzle pieces change now right it's not the exact same thing but it's still up here so either you click the puzzle piece and find active group users there or because we enable the pin you can see it right there so we'll just click on it again and now it's saying your account is set up with and then we just say next and we can paste a group right here if we want let's do that let's go find a group so let's say I have let's say I have oops what happened here I opened up my other my other browser hold on let me just fix that minimize this guy okay so we have this guy here this is a Facebook group I'm just going to take this uh, URL right here right and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to paste it right there right so now by the way if you like if you open up this if I put this here as a new tab right here it'll close the, the extension oh where did it go right so you can always get it back whenever you click on this again right you see as soon as you go to some other tab chrome will close your extension pop-up there's nothing we can do about that that's just how it works so whenever you're whenever it's done you have to click the little icon again so let's just click it again you see how the Facebook is just again on that same page with no Facebook group I'm just going to paste it in there I'm going to say next now you could click on the run your first scrape um now and uh, yeah let's do that so when you click on that it'll start the scraping process which will open up a little um, another window right here which it'll start to actually do your scraping I can resize this a little bit you see the first thing it goes and gets is your notifications um, and then it takes a little bit and we're not gonna let's actually stop this if I close this it'll stop the scraping you see how it says right here do not stop it'll stop so let's just close it which will stop it and I can just go back here open this up again and it'll it's not running right so you see right now it looks like the group didn't get saved for some reason so let's just paste it back in here and click on the add right there okay now we have the group right here so if I just go back in here just want to make sure this is working right because sometimes I'm not sure we, we have a little bug wherever sometimes the group does get saved other times it doesn't and we're still trying to figure that out but okay I just want to confirm if you close it and reopen it you'll see whether the group is there or not you can add more groups you can have up to three groups in the in the in the free trial or if you upgrade you can put up to 15 groups in the account right so if you want to upgrade you can come up here under plans you can see the different plans how many groups you can have how many posts per group that it'll scrape and how many profiles it'll find and things like that also the percentage commission is different depending on their plans so you can just click on these to actually upgrade if I click on gold plan here it'll take me to the page to upgrade and it'll say I want to upgrade get two three months you can either pay every month or pay once a year and save and this kind of lists all the different features of the plans all right so now that's the upgrading to the group so now I have my I have my group in there so now what I want to do because I want to talk about the badges I want to win the badges right so to win the badges you got to do a scrape so I'm going to actually go normally you would click on the start button here or we would have let the scrape go except that I guess there was no group saved so it wouldn't have done anything but let's go in here under options now normally this is fine you want to leave it on slow you don't want to up, you don't want to you don't want to change that to to what I'm going to do right now because this is just for the debu the demo so I'm going to go on faster right here but normally you leave it on slow slow is you see it even tells you right it's 
it's be careful because Facebook doesn't like people going blah, 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 like that right so because that's what the extension does it goes to Facebook for you and goes to the groups and goes and finds the posts and goes and finds the people and things like that but it does it at a speed that is kind of like a human person with randomness and things like that if you put it on fast it might go too fast and Facebook might say oh this is software doing this we don't want this they might like block you or put you in Facebook jail or something right so that's why you don't want to go too too fast but right now we want to go faster because I want to do a scrape and show you uh the process so if I click on start right here it's going to start a scrape and depending on the settings it look it sets it up in the background so that's why we don't see it if I if I go back to the extension here you're going to see that it says that it's running oh well, it doesn't say it's running I guess but you can tell it is because there's no not a start button there's a stop button it also says show window so I click on this to show the window <coughs> then I can just do this with it you can see that it's loading up the tabs it's loading going to the different different posts and things like that and it's loading up and you can see the number going up right here it's that 21 now or maybe you can't see that let's move it down here so you see this number here is growing right that's because it's actually <coughs> it's actually finding profiles and things like that so where we don't we, normally you let that finish I'm just going to stop it right now because I don't need to do a more than a certain like so I'm just going to stop it uh actually just close this and then go here and stop it all right so now we have the scrape done if I close this I go back here <coughs> it's going to tell us down the bottom that it did a scrape right here reached well it says reach max post but I don't know if that's really why it stopped I clicked the stop but that yeah because you do have a maximum of five posts and things like that on in the uh free trial um but that doesn't matter okay so once it's done you've got a scrape done now let's go look at the badges so actually are we still talking about we're talking about how to get set up active group shoes how to how to win your first badge okay let's talk we're going to talk about how to win your first badge like I said the first badge is all about doing your first scrape which is what we just did right now so if I go back here and I click on the extension again and I click on view data that'll take me to the data that was found by the process then you see right here these are all the people that the extension found in the group that I told it to look in which is the which is the do I have the groups which is the Clickbank affiliate marketing group just because I chose that group <coughs> obviously you choose the groups that your avatars hang out into if you're doing weight loss you're not going to do yeah you know uh, Clickbank affiliates you're going to do you know losing weight groups or exercising for weight loss or things like that in, in Facebook right so use those groups then what happens is you got these um these people that were found in the groups that either posted something this person Alex he posted this post whereas these people they commented on this post that's why it says comment right here and um you can see that all these people are not they don't have a profile picture that's because the extension didn't I didn't give it time to go and find profile pictures and things like that but that doesn't matter so here's how you win your first badge you do your first scrape and you come here and you click on one of these poof you won your first badge that's your first badge okay so now how do you see the badge you can click on see the badge right here and if you don't click like if you click on this it'll go to another tab and it'll open up the badges that well that specific badge it'll show you right but if I forget and I close this and I just keep working and I do the stuff and then I click on the next one it doesn't you know the badges it's not showing me the badges anymore I'm like where are they you go to your little uh, profile image right here and you go to badges right there that's basically taking you to your badges page so when you have only one badge <coughs> <coughs> sorry when you have only one badge it kind of looks weird because there's only one badge right uh, I can click on this badge to take me to the view of that badge and there's also a profile version of the badge uh, so let's see where are we in our thing so how to win your first badge when do you win your next badge okay so let's talk about that before we go into the rest right so how do you win your next badge now I'm not um so normally as you use the software you're going to win your next badge 
in 24 hours it, it'll it won't give you the next badge even though you took action that should award that badge you won't win the badge until at least 24 hours after the last badge you won and that's just so that you're not getting a whole bunch of badges all at the same time although some people would like that but you know it's 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 meant so that it kind of paces through the process right so um if you don't do what you're supposed to do let's say right now we didn't do anything else right I go back to data right here that's going to give me my list of of uh of profiles again like we were in before right if you don't do what you're supposed to do and all you did is your one scrape here and all you do is you click on these and you close this and you click on this and you close this after three days it'll tell you so three days right one two three it'll tell you hey your next badge is this keep going this is what you got to do so if you if you don't know where the badges are um it'll tell you the next badge is this now obviously after your first four five or six badges you won't be winning a badge every day but the first five badges you could actually won you could actually win one of these every day and that's because uh how do I share where are all the badges let's talk about where are all the badges so the badges are all in here more badges right <clears throat> so if I go to the more menu and then to the badges I see all the badges that we saw what that I showed you in the beginning except now that we're logged in and we have an account it tells me whether I have them or not right so it says I don't have these ones I have this one I don't have these right and if I again same thing if I click on any of these it'll show me exactly what I need to do to win this badge and I can right click it to see the full size image of it if I right click these I won't see the full size image and that's just how it works um so uh and yeah so that's where all the badges are and also if you go back to your profile right here under your profile picture menu right there under badges which is where we ended up here there's a your badges or all badges all badges also takes us to this page with all the badges right the other thing is when I go to prof public profiles you can actually see right here that people have badges right you see how Linda has a badge Carla Jane Donna how they all have badges and I have ba a badge as well right so what badge that is you unless you knew the you know the platform and all the badges by heart you wouldn't really know what they are but if I click on my own profile here I'm, I'm logged in as some test account right so I see this just like any other person if I click my own profile here it'll take me to my profile and it'll show me it'll show you all the badges I have here and if I click on badges up here it'll actually show me the badges of this person right so it shows me that I have all these badges right so that's the badges I have because you know obviously I've been using the software for years so the badges were just created last last week last month or so so that's kind of why they're just starting out but you know everybody that's been using the software will automatically get these first five badges pretty quickly right because this is the first profile visit whoops the first comment the five scrapes done the hundred profile visits done that that you can do if you do 20 profile visits a day you can do it after five days right but then 10 days use obviously have to be using it for more than that days etc cetera, etc cetera, right okay so that's where the badges are what else do we have where are all the badges how to share your badge okay now you want to know how to share your badge because you know if I go to Facebook here <clears throat> you're going to notice that I have on my profile I have view see profile picture I have the badge group level nine right and if I go back I've been kind of changing them level eight level seven level six I've been actually when I win them I've been setting my profile to those right so you can see that they're all uh, <coughs> that I won all these uh, badges I guess right these are all my uh, profile pictures <coughs> so now if I just go back to how how can you do that right so first of all if I go back to my own profile here under badges like this is like your account right you're going to go to your account you're going to see you don't have a profile picture so if I go to this badge here you can actually you can actually go to this badge and you can right click it right open image in new tab and you have this badge here that you can actually save 
save image as you don't have to open the new tab you can just right click and save image as right and you can download that and share that on Facebook if you want right but you might want to have your profile picture in here right so how do you get that right see how it says C profile badge right here so if I go to C profile badge I'm going to see my profile picture with the badge with the badge ribbon around it right but because this account I haven't set up a profile picture yet I can't so I got to go here and I'm going to add a profile picture to this account let's go and find I don't even know I got some images probably I'm sure I go in here under images images someplace let's go to my emails because I did some Seinfeld emails what do I have let's do take this one or this one here let's do this one so there and then I can just save that so once I have a profile picture right in my account then if I go back to badges right here now I could have done the update right here it's a lot faster I don't have to go and click that link I'll show you in a second because on the on the phone on a mobile you can't you don't see that little side thing on the mobile just on the on the computer so if you're on your if you're on your mobile and you go to this here no it's it's generating the badge for me now because now I have a profile picture it just takes a few seconds after that's done then you have a, a badge with your profile picture in it that you can download and share on Facebook so let's see how it's there now see profile badge and there we go so you know until I had this profile picture right here right then I couldn't have a profile picture you know it's not going to put a, a weird profile picture in the middle it'll just tell you it didn't so if you didn't click that link to go to that bio you could have clicked update right here and choose a file and change the profile picture to something else if you wanted right if I can do this let's say I do this I change the profile picture I'm going to put this one instead save upload new profile picture right so now it's going to update this but this isn't updated because this is from my previous profile I can do the click the redo right here you can see that it's updated right there right I can click the redo right here and that'll regenerate the badge with the new profile picture in it and that's then you can share that by just right clicking on it and is that what we have in here how to share how to download okay so talk about talk about how to down so because you can actually here's the other thing see now I have the new profile picture I can actually click the share right here and I can actually share this this link directly to Facebook as you can see it's got my user right here and if I change my user to Bob or Frank or or you know um Jane right if I change it here then it'll show Jane here instead of my user 885 but either either way it doesn't matter this is basically so that if somebody comes to the site you're tagged you are tagged to them if they ever buy anything or upgrade their account right and you can share it on Facebook LinkedIn if I go to Twitter here you can see that it lets me share that particular page with that that link right here right it actually will tag me in the so I'm just gonna well I'm not gonna post that I guess um <clears throat> and if I click on Facebook share you can see that it actually puts the profile picture that image is there as as the image that shows up right here if it loads up oh no I guess it shows the default but it shows the the badge right so you can share that like that we might fix it to show the profile it should be showing the profile I'm not really sure why I didn't oh that's why because it's badges 23 without the profile on it I see okay but anyways yeah so that's how you can share it now if you want to create the profile if you want to download your badge this is how you would do it right here you would click right click on this and just say save image as and then put it in your downloads or whatever save it right then you would go to Facebook you would click on your profile picture whoops close that click on it pro and you would say choose profile picture and then I just want to upload and I would go into where I saved it which is downloads this one here right and then it would let me 
save, save that and I would save it right I'm not going to do it right now because this is level one I'm already at level nine so no sense in me downgrading right I'm just going to click cancel discard and yeah so that's kind of how you set your profile picture then you would have a profile picture with your badge on there so how to update your profile picture and redo your badge I kind of already covered that and how to set your profile picture of the badge that's what we just did just now and that's basically how you use the badges like I said the badges are here see all badges and you know I don't know I'd I'd be curious to know which badge you think you like the best right like a flying pig here there's a there's a black cat there's a you know pink cat or or leopard or something I'm not sure it's a whole bunch of different weird things there's a there's a golden lion there's also a red lion right here all sorts of different and there's a crocodile which I'm I'm the crocodile right now level level five I think or level nine is it yeah and so yeah so that's how you use the badges on active group users that's how you set it up so like I said we went through all of this right here and we talked about all these different things you can go back in the video if you're watching this just go ahead and go back and go and pause and kind of go through it and get yourself set up and get your badge and share your badge all right we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.